Okay, what to do, YouTube family? I'm back with another video. So this will be separate um, zodiac signs readings, okay? And this will be for fire sign. We're going to start off with Aries, Leo, and then Sagittarius, okay? So let's go ahead and, you know, start. I want to start off with these Kipper deck messages i got i really like these so we're gonna do these for aries tapping into all energies for aries okay i don't know why her spell works aries y'all might be um like trying to do some mind manipulation spell work tactics or just somebody with you um you know just manipulation so we got courtship in the main meal and then we got lovers. So I definitely, and the lovers was in reverse. So I feel like y'all might be in some type of separate, separate some of y'all in separation from like y'all person or, um, and somebody can be like in, like in the field, like taking the time to get to know other people, you know, mingling, dating, talking. Okay. Um, I definitely feel like this can be like, a main male like my feminine Aries okay you can be a, a male a, a man and have a feminine energy okay uh let me get more in this situation so we got the three of swords I definitely feel like somebody here was like heartbroken okay I feel like there was some type of indecision like not making the decision uh, I feel like somebody was at like a crossword between crossroads between like two people okay with a um, karmic or divine counterpart or just, you know, two people. Yeah, Aries. So, we got your energy, um, the emperor. I feel like you being, like, confused or, like, not making an offer or not wanting to or um, somebody can be, like, somebody can be upset, heartbroken, or just, like, very aggravated uh, that somebody has somebody blocked, okay? So, we got the will of fortune and the three of cups. I definitely feel like... Somebody could have blocked, is trying to like block out or could have like started a new beginning, a new type of celebration. I feel like somebody was trying to like, I feel like somebody was trying to put somebody in the third party situation to like block out somebody from like going to like the next phase in their life. Okay, this Will of Fortune could be a Gemini. Okay, because we got the lover's card. I feel like with the strength card, the ace of wands and the chariot card, I feel like somebody had to like work up the strength the strength to like move on to this ace of wands okay Bye. um i feel like the universe more like okay so aries if y'all was dealing with somebody that it been was supposed to be over with i feel like somebody somebody like universal like somebody spirit guy spirit team stepped in with this universe card will of fortune jacoby need you to hush okay and i feel like yeah Somebody was moving on to a, a new beginning. I feel like the Eight of Cups is definitely an emotional roller coaster. Okay, I feel as though like somebody left. Okay, with the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Wands energy, I feel like somebody, somebody, I feel like with the Eight of Eight of Cups. I mean, somebody was like sad that they had to leave. I think somebody was upset about the ending. I do see, yeah. So you could have been dealing with like a Queen of Wands and a Queen of Swords energy. I feel like. Aries, y'all gonna like try to get y'all lick back and you intentionally like hurt somebody because they started a new cycle somewhere else. They blocked you. Okay. You could have been dealing with an air sign and a fire sign. And I feel like like that that's what caused the ending. Like you, you, I don't know why I'm here in fornication. So um yeah, take this as it resonates. Like it just really feels as though like um Aries, y'all separated from somebody. Somebody left because, like, it really just feel like the connection was, like, really toxic. It should have been ended, like, a long time ago. And, um, y'all went to go, like, mingle with somebody that I feel like y'all could possibly always had your eye on. Let me get more of this situation. So we got the two of wands, the lover's card, the eight of pentacles, and the four of pentacles. Okay, so I do see that somebody's still holding on to some type of like divine connection or like um like some type of connection that they had going on with somebody. Somebody's still holding on to that with the eight of pentacles and the four of pentacles. I feel like somebody's still holding on energetically because they they feel like okay, we could be able to make this work. We more than two of wands. 
Aries, this could be you. But I'm seeing, like, with the Five of Cups in their chair card, somebody could just be really sad. The fact that, like, somebody moved on. Um, I feel like somebody was a little confused on, like, what this connection was. So I'm definitely getting that somebody was, like, playing mind games or, like, intentionally trying to confuse somebody. Yeah, I feel like with the Seven of Swords energy, this can be, like, what somebody's hiding or, like, didn't reveal to you or you with them. I'm getting, like, trickster energy. We got the Nine of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. Aries, you can, you or somebody else can feel like, okay, somebody's dealing with somebody. Somebody's giving, like, their time and energy to somebody else who finds them very attractive. Five of Wands, you or this person may, like, um, view of whoever this secret person is, like, secret admirer, like, some type of competition. I'm like, Aries, you study, you, you study... You study this person that moved on to, like, some type of new beginning, new relationship. You study this person. Like, you still watch them. I definitely feel as though, like, y'all want to come, like, give them some type of offer. Okay? Yeah, for it to be, some, like, some type of new beginning. Yeah. I feel like with the star card and a ten of cups, this you may have, like, a family with an Aquarius. Or this is a star seed or somebody who gets a lot of, you know, attention and recognition. I definitely feel like y'all want to be able to, like, eventually heal this. And I feel as though, like, um... Y'all got, like, multiple feminine energies that y'all dealing with. For some of y'all that's dealing with the Aries, the Aries is, like, entertaining three other women. But I feel like this person wants, like, a relationship or, like, to have a child or something uh, with this, this Queen of Wands fire sign energy. But I feel like somebody's hiding the fact that they could be, like, attracted to men or coming in, like, slow to make an offer, Okay. So, um, this can also resonate if you have Aries placements like your sun, moon, rising, north node, Venus, okay? So, if you're dealing with the Aries, you can cross-watch for Aries, okay? Or anybody that has that in their placement. So, next we're going to do Leos, okay? Leo. Leo. Um, Leo. And I'm going to go back, of course, and, like, time stamp for Leo. So, Leo, we got the thief. Y'all going to be having a thief in y'all in y'all energy, or this is y'all. Mature man. House. So, what we got here is, I feel like somebody could have stole something out of a house, like, stole from you. Or, like, somebody's trying to steal, like, some type of, like, divine connection with the house card. Uh, from you leo so you could have like a promise connection you're supposed to be in i feel like somebody's like trying to strip you of those rights or try um yeah so keep in mind that this can resonate for anybody with any leo placements and there's some moon rising north node okay let me get more in this situation for leos so we got the five of cups i definitely feel like somebody's in this energy of mourning over a loss okay queen of wands this can be a fire sign or leo this can be well duh we're on fire sign leo. leo this can be you okay we got the moon card so i definitely feel like this is something that was like being kept a secret from you okay um i feel like yeah i feel like somebody had you in a third party situation um this can be an Aries, okay? I feel like somebody in secret is grieving over, like, the loss of you or, like, oh, uh, things didn't work out or you have more than one lover to choose, okay? I feel like you can be focused on, like, your work, working on yourself with this three of pentacles, working on, like, your um, outer appearance, being more ambitious, even more attractive. For some of y'all, y'all don't even know this masculine energy yet. This can be somebody new, but this person with the moon car and the emperor car can come off like very, uh, I heard deranged. But uh, for some of y'all, like very mysterious. I feel like with the three of cups, the ace of cups, somebody definitely was like getting some type of enjoyment out of a third party situation. Okay. I do see that um, with the hermit card, this person can like, yeah, be very mysterious, all to itself, very preserved. I do see somebody like working with somebody, having some type of child. So, um, but I feel like there's another masculine energy that's grieving over a loss of this relationship, but I see like y'all having a child with like another, with a, a divine, uh, a, a divine masculine. I feel like with the nine of wands energy, I feel like. 
for some of y'all, a lot of people can rob y'all of y'all time, misuse y'all, took y'all for granted. And like, you've been in this nine of wands energy to where you have your guard up. You're not really open to love. You're like the wounded warrior energy, seven of wands. Yeah, have your guard up. Um, and I definitely feel like it, that may be causing some type of new, some type of block of some type of relationship you're supposed to be in, have a child with somebody or like run a business too as well. I feel like with the Nine of Cups, this would be like some type of wish fulfillment. I feel like with the Seven of Cups, I feel like you have multiple opportunities, though. I can feel like there could be a lot of masculine energies that view you like very attractive. A lot of people feel like you'll be wish fulfillment, okay? I'm definitely getting that um, with the Four of Cups, Five of Cups, Nine of Cups, Six of Cups. I'm like, somebody's trying to, I do feel like somebody's trying to come in and apologize to confuse you. So it'll be a missed opportunity for when, like, somebody wants to come towards you and give you your time. Yeah, we got the higher fit in the star card. I feel like you can already been told this from, like, another tarot reader. Or you could be dealing with a, a, a Taurus or a, I don't know why I'm here, a Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius. Somebody with those placements in their chart. Somebody that's, like, very, like, spiritual to you, Ace of Swords. So, I definitely feel like you could be in some type of spiritual connection. I feel like somebody's trying to throw you off your path by, like, guilt tripping you, apologizing, kissing your ass. Yeah. I feel like with the Ten of Wands, you definitely have some type of spiritual download about this. I definitely feel as though, like, somebody's trying their hardest to... um interfere pull you back from that somebody don't want you to be able to rely on your intuition when it comes to like this connection leo so use your discernment i do feel as though like there's new love coming in but like you've been in this um wounded warrior energy or this new person it's kind of causing like some type of stagnancy and i feel as though like um somebody is like feeling like energy magic like energy work 12 12 on the front screen you might be seeing age of numbers like 12 12 okay um i definitely feel like somebody's trying to like um in a way make you think negatively about like this divine card part coming in so let me get some more so we got the moon card and the devil and we got the ace of pentacles yeah i definitely feel like somebody is like um could possibly be doing spell work when it comes to like um your finances love life your stability okay this could be a capricorn or just somebody very toxic i feel like somebody can also be not telling the truth yeah seven of swords energy i feel like somebody's on some sneaky trying to plan something in secret uh and this definitely has something to do with like you missing out on this ten of pentacles like a healthy foundation a healthy marriage kids things like that i definitely feel like with the four of swords and the justice card and it in the eight of cups your best bet is just to pull away from this a water sign is doing this a cancer scorpio pisces okay um in a queen of swords a libra a, a libra a libra gemini and aquarius i definitely feel like these people are sending you negative energy five of swords they're hating on you very bitter uh you could be like in your queen of pentacles energy you know very grounded very financially secured okay attentive loyal Okay, somebody is trying to, like, fabricate that, like, mess with that. So, let's get down to business, and this will be for Sagittarius, last and not least. Okay, if you happen to resonate with any of these readings, Sagittarius reading is, like, 1345, okay? But, yeah, um, if you happen to resonate with these readings, go ahead, like, subscribe, okay, share, also, book me for a personal reading. I am available. So, we got le twirling labor, marriage, and high honor. So, Saggies, okay? Y'all could be in this energy to where y'all are very, y'all are a lot. I know a lot of Sagittarius that are very hard workers, very dedicated, true to their passion. I definitely feel like there's some type of marriage, like divine union with the marriage card. Some of y'all can be in marriages, okay? I feel like you're marrying somebody like like a royal blood through them or this could be y'all with like some type of high honor okay um let me get more in this situation 
So we got two of wands. This is definitely talking about like a decision that's being made. Okay, this could be with the Aries or just gonna, you know just be a connection. I definitely feel like that with the Ace of Cups, it's going to be something new, a new relationship. Okay, I definitely feel like there is a fire sign that's grieving over the loss of you with this Five of Cups. Um, I feel like Four of Pentacles. Somebody's still holding on to the like this connection. Um. With the Ace of Cups, is giving me that, yeah, we got the Queen of Wands. So, I feel like you can... So, Saggies, y'all can be in a whole new, different connection. Very happy. Um, You know, there's love there. Or, you know, you found somebody that you can be able to connect with on an emotional level. And I feel like there's another fire sign, masculine energy, or just somebody, like, very upset, wanting to take charge, that is grieving the loss of you. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. I feel as though, like, this person still want to get to this situation. I feel like with the Six of Pentacles, uh, the Eight of Swords, and we got the Two of Swords, the Sun card, the Queen of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like somebody wants you wants to keep you stuck to them. They want a new beginning. I feel like this person is still indecisive. They're still going to deal with, like, this Queen of Swords energy. Um, for some of y'all, y'all also embody this Queen of Swords energy to where you're not taking no bullshit. You do not want to work with this person. I feel like you're very smart, calculated. You can like be self um ambitious, have your own have your own business with this Queen of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, and Nine of Pentacles energy. I feel like with the High Priestess card, the Seven of Pentacles and the Tower card, I feel like you intuitively know that like um somebody time is over with. You can totally know that somebody's trying to cause chaos chaos magic with the um tower card you can totally know that like okay messing with this person will cause you a tower moment bad for business um i feel like this person can intuitively know that like okay um it's over like they really don't want me no more i'm getting that also somebody could be like pregnant and they'll be like uh the camel that broke his back somebody could be hiding a pregnancy with the hair font in the um what you call card yeah i feel like with the strength card somebody's trying their hardest like to keep to to keep hold from a tower moment from happening um this is definitely somebody from your past somebody's definitely like reminiscing about like old ways i'm hearing that song by pretty ricky like it was okay i feel like there could be people from your past hearing some type of fast gossip okay about you being in, in a relationship we got divine feminine okay so um yeah I feel like these people want to cause some type of tower moment once they find out, like, okay, one, your business is doing good, you're flourishing, you're looking good, okay? Um, you got a, a lover that's supporting you, wanting to be with you, okay? That's all you talk about. And I definitely just feel like people are in this energy to where, like, they want to be able to come and, like, okay, um, end it for you because these people want you. Okay, Saggies. So let me get more for my Saggies. I'm gonna put that card back. So we got this stagnant energy with this uh death card came in crossing. So I feel like y'all can be in the energy to where y'all are ending things with people. Like you're getting rid of like not even into things with people.